Hey, what's going on? Boozy here, and today we're going to be talking about uh, one of the games I picked up recently called World War III. It's, uh, it kind of res- reminds me of the Battlefield games. Uh, it's kind of in that genre of open world type first person shooters. Uh, and in my opinion, it's one of the better ones I've played out recently. Uh, this game has came in and um, it's in closed beta. Uh, testing at the moment i believe so it's like 15 dollars on steam and so i picked it up i think they said they were going free to play once it came out of the closed beta uh this is something i think i read i might be misquoting it i don't i'm not too sure but uh i picked it up just for 15 dollars because that was kind of actually pretty cheap um and i seen a couple gameplay on a couple of people play the game and seen some uh, videos of gameplay on it and um decided to just try and dip right into it try it out and uh i have the gameplay in the background now you're gonna see me dying a lot because uh, i say it's like battlefield but you definitely have uh the ttk is definitely a lot uh, shorter than battlefield or call of duty or any games like that um this game you die pretty quick you need to be pretty accurate with your weapons uh i will say off off gate um, this game's audio is really, really good. The game, the gun sounds great. Um, visually, uh, if you see, I, I, I change it from X FPS to the balanced version of it because you could put the presets on there. And so I changed it from the max FPS, which made it look like little blocks. I changed it to the balance and it actually looks pretty decent. It's very well optimized for it to be in a, a closed beta. Excuse me. And um, this game released back in October 2018, I believe. And the peak back then, I think the all-time peak was 11,000 from Steam Charts. And um, recently it has around 1,700 people playing on Steam. Now, my thing is this game has its own launcher. So I'm not too sure about uh, if Steam is taking those into account as well. The people who have just downloaded the launcher and booted up from there or, um, or not. And I'm pretty sure it's just the people that load into Steam and how it works is you buy the game you load into steam and then it takes you to their launcher and i think you have to download their launcher and once you download their launcher um you have to go to their website it's very complicated i'm not a big fan of it i wish they made it a lot more simpler but uh because i paid the, the 15 dollars, and then from the looks of it i thought i didn't get the game and i was like i just paid 15 dollars. where'd it go but it ended up i just had to go and uh, make a account on their website and then redeem the code or something like that or no attach my steam account to their uh, website and then i was able to get everything and go about um playing the game but from first first looks uh the startup screen is a little wonky i'm not too sure how the loading up process goes because uh there's at some times you kind of uh can't load in you have to click try again because some things fail and some things work and then um i've gotten to i've gotten to a point where it just i was constantly doing that and so i had to restart the whole game um and load back in and finally let me go uh af- actually after this gameplay after i got done playing this game i was trying to go to the menu i believe and it would not let me back out it just kept saying that everything was um invitations were failing or something like that so that's something just being a part of the closed beta uh, testing um that's something that i guess you're gonna have to come across but like i said everything in the game looks pretty polished now this is a game world war three that i feel like once it got once it gets his feet on the ground and gets to running and they're actually not having to work out so many kinks in the game uh like visual appeals um like i said it's well optimized but there are some things that feel a little wonky like the movement um and when you're jumping and you're not actually sometimes it's a little harder to jump over obstacles uh, you kind of have to stop and like directly be right in front of it it kind of does it just automatically you know it doesn't feel free flow uh the grenades when you throw them kind of look a little like they they stop and stutter in the air you do have sometimes i get frame drops but i'm not running some great grand pc so maybe that might be my system i'm not too sure but uh usually i can hang around 60 fps and be pretty good but um this game i feel like can be a big what i feel like it could be a a little bit better than Hell Let Loose, let's say, like as an indie title in the Battlefield uh, style genre. Um, I actually feel like it could be better uh, just because me, I'm a bigger fan of like a Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3, more of the up to date games with uh, the more modern um, weapons and things like that. 
I actually like those games a little bit more. I find myself, because uh, this game is not on consoles, it's specifically to PC. Uh, I found myself going on my PlayStation 5 and I'll play Battlefield 5, Battlefield 1, just because of how much of a fluke Battlefield 2042 was. Um, I, I try to get that Battlefield feeling. I can't. I did not play the, the last Call of Duty. Um, I've been looking for a new FPS, so I downloaded Insurgency Sandstorm on my PlayStation 5, and I'll go ahead and tell you the game does not look good on there. Um, <clears throat> it's not a next-gen version. It's an old-gen version. It's the PS4 version. But uh, I still, in my opinion, don't think it It just doesn't look good to me. So um, that right there is kind of something that, that, that puts me off of that game. But getting back to what I was saying, the game itself, uh, compared to a Hell Let Loose and a Battlefield uh, game, actually kind of introduces new aspects to the Battlefield style. And I keep calling it Battlefield style just because that's the game that kind of uh, I feel like put on like the big open world type first person shooter games that are uh, you know big wide scale you know air land sea so I'm gonna call it battlefield genre because I feel like they made that popular there might have been a game before it but in my opinion that's the first game I went with so I'm gonna just keep calling it that but um it adds like in this uh, World War three you have score streaks um i did see they were gonna have a battle pass in a store which i those really don't I, I feel like every game has that nowadays uh but they do have score streaks like i said you're able to lean left and right you're uh, they do have a, a tactical sprint um which is kind of weird when you're having to run if you run toggle or hold because usually i like to hold like a uh, hold when i sprint um but you're not able to slide while holding unless you have uh, your crouch as C, and I usually have it as control. So uh, it's a little weird there, but maybe that'll never be fixed. Maybe it will. I'm not too sure. But um, with that, <clears throat> they also added um, uh, they have a backpack scenario. So kind of explain it is you able to bring certain attachments for your weapon which is kind of like battlefield 2042 where you were able to on the go change your weapon out this is something they have called the backpack and um so you bring that with you and uh the customization in this game also is very in detail um i actually got kind of confused going through it at first because it's so in depth with the certain things you can carry and trying to uh you know you, the more you have the more you weigh the slower you'll run so you try to put a balance in it um level up weapons is actually pretty good like i said the score tr the score streaks are kind of based off of the kills you get the defense you get in games they do have a, a couple of different modes as well that go all, uh, go along with um like uh I, I believe they have like the conquest set like battlefield type domination they have team deathmatch and they have a couple other things but team deathmatch i believe and conquest are only two ones that i've actually played uh and enjoyed i, I actually thoroughly enjoyed the, them uh the way they they are set up and the way this game plays like i said i'm not i'm not good at it um, I get killed a lot, but uh, just the feeling that, like I said, the audio of the game, um, the the visuals of the game, everything is very visually and auditorily uh, is it, very pleasant. <laughs> so that's something that I feel like is on par with a Battlefield style game. Now, Hill It Loose is a game that I have not played. I've watched gameplay on it, but like I said, um, I'm, I'm more of into the modern time shooters. I'm not a big fan of having to go back. I, I feel like World War II, World War I, that's been overdone, overused. I feel like I, I'd rather see something more in the future and not too future to where you get the Infinity Warfare and flying out in space and stuff like that. I'd rather keep it just on here. Um, and just uh, honestly, as long as it feels in time and has a compelling story type deal, uh, I feel like, or it just seems more realistic, I, I, I enjoy those kind of games. And so... I feel like us as a community, this is my main point of this video, is that we should, as a community for the first person shooters and games like that, we should start taking our money and putting it into games like this right here, like World War III, which is a game that I never heard of until, like I said, this game's been out since 2018, and this is the first time I've heard of it this year. And maybe that's part, partly because this game is just now starting to... Uh, get his get his uh, you know get his legs up under him and uh, they're starting to work out the kinks and now it's actually playable you know but at the same time I feel like we need to start keeping our eyes out for games like this 
because when you get games like a Battlefield 2042 or a Cyberpunk uh, 2077, games like those that are made by AAA, triple, AAA companies uh, or developers, and they put out unfinished um, basis pieces of crap and sell it to us knowing that this game is not going to be good and then uh they double down on the set day instead of you know trying to push it back farther to try and fix their game they kind of just send it out and expect the consumer to not say anything about it and that's the that's how I, that's what i got from you know the battlefield 2042 and the cyberpunk 2077 like these games were released and they were not good they were not in shape even in playable shape but yet they still release games like this and i feel like it's time for the gaming community to take our money and start putting it into these indie developers to understand that um they're not going to have the same type of greed that a uh, a triple a game's gonna have like look at uh let's say a uh, ubisoft ubisoft is uh, a company that i feel like has ea is another one as well but these companies have co consistently put out the same thing over and over and over again and they haven't they don't listen to the community they kind of just run off of greed they run out for how much money they can make 2k is another big one i'm big in the basketball games but i've decided that i'm not going to buy any more until i actually see some difference in them and um you really can't expect a triple a game or triple a uh, company or developers to to change the way they are because they are in it for the money they've already got they've gotten to the point where they have enough money that all they want to do is poke and pry at the consumers to get every last dollar that they can get and this is where i kind of throw some blame on fortnite because fortnite uh brought in it's one of the best things for gaming but also one of the worst things because it brought in the free to play aspect which i actually think is a great idea but then they also threw in these cosmetic battle passes things like that right and so you get game you get a game that uh you get games nowadays like warzone um just about every single game that i know of nowadays uh if they're online if they're a shooter even if they're not shooters they're gonna have a battle pass which i feel like is uh dead by daylight is another game that i actually enjoy but the battle passes and stuff like that um i just don't feel like it's, it's just more of like but with dead by daylight is in a category of its own because i feel like they price gouge the crap out of everybody in that game co from cosmetics to everything like that that's that in, in my opinion dead by daylight is a pay to win type game that i really actually enjoy it's a good premise but it's just not the way they run things nowadays it's not it's not worth it anymore but that's that's a different just subject I'm, I'm, i want to get back to the battle passes and the free-to-play aspect and the things like that but these games are consistently putting out they're more focused on getting money out of the battle passes out of the cosmetics thing than they are about fixing their actual game and so uh you see a bunch of games nowadays really focus on the the, the looks of a game the looks of their characters instead of uh, listening to the community and understanding that that's not really what players care about they play more they care more about the, the the gameplay of it and what they don't understand which they could take some inspiration from elder ring is that if you release a game that is fully optimal that you can play uh, there's not many bugs to it and you just if they were to add stuff like paid like dlc to elder ring i'm 100 percent sure there would be millions of people that would buy that dlc off gate because that they've they've kept their reputation up and this Elden ring is not a game that i would necessarily enjoy myself but it's somehow something about it actually because i'm not a big fan of the dark souls type genre but Elden ring appealed to me just because of how how good it was when it came to the gameplay of it when it came to how optimized the game was when it came to the way the the, the devs would listen to the community how they were put out like they, they put out a patch that gave i think extra bosses uh and added content to it while fixing bugs like what other triple a developers are you gonna see do something like that you would never see a ea do this and they they have a long line of like you gotta think just just another game pop in my my mind anthem another game that you sit back and you say like what what is this this company consistently does these things but yet we as the consumer continue to back them with our money expecting them to be different and we haven't gave them any consequences for it like we, we still pre-order their games we still hype up their games knowing good and well that they have a reputation of basically crapping out the consumer for their personal benefit
And so I feel like this is when we as a community need to start putting our money into smaller developers, smaller uh, community developers to uh, to bring up more from software type AAA developers. You understand what I'm saying? We want to see or I want to see and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that would agree with me that we want to see more of uh, Elden Ring type games games that are completed games that uh, are, are, are fully optimal for PC console things like that we want to see games like that come out and 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 be better and the only way that's going to happen is if we we start putting the money back into any companies and I feel like World War 3 is on the path to being something that can be very big um, and I'm not buying into the hype because I, there is a lot of hype going around this game right now just because of how good it looks. But I feel like it's one of those things where we'll we'll play a game, we'll play a game, and we'll say, oh, this game's good, and then we'll leave it alone. And it needs to be more of uh, the, the way of we'll play this game and continue to support this game to understand that this game right here can become something bigger. It could become the next big Battlefield or next big Call of Duty because Battlefield and Call of Duty, I feel like they're set in stone how they're going to be. Call of Duty is always going to be an arcade shooter. Battlefield is always going to be, um, and, and now it's kind of tainted its reputation because Battlefield 5, I feel like was, there was a lot of con controversy around that game. Um, and I actually thought it was a pretty decent game, but, you know, they just did certain things, which I don't even know about. I don't know what the big, uh, you know, hoopla was about, but they, they had certain things that happened that, you know, caused people to have an uproar about it. And then they had Battlefield 2042, which they continued to shoot themselves in the foot um, because I actually like Battlefield more than I like Call of Duty. Call of Duty is off on a, a whole nother path. Um, I don't even want to talk about them because they have ruined um, something that was actually really, really one of the one of the pinnacles of game, and they ruined it. But um, get back to it. I feel like World War Three with the, uh, the the things they have integrated into this first person shooter with the the help of. The community, the first person community, first person shooter community, with all of us, you know, creating videos on it, spreading the word about the game, supporting the game whenever it drops. I, I hate for them to call it a battle pass. I wish they'd be more unique with the way they want to put something out. I'm not too sure. I know that it's going to be skins for the guns and skins for your character and stuff like that, but I wish it'd be something different. Nothing to be paid to win, but I mean, I can't think of it right now. I don't get paid to think of it, but, um, just something to be a little bit more unique when it comes to these things. Um, Rainbow Six Siege, I feel like, uh, is a game that went downhill. But at the time, with their little, um, the way they had things going, um, I, I didn't mind buying their skins. Like, you had certain in outros for your guy whenever you'd, uh, you had the certain skin, which I thought was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool thing. And I feel like this game, when you end a match, you do, it does show the best squad. If you could have little you know little things you did at the end not little emotes you know with a person dancing or something but if they had a voice line and they said something pretty cool uh, you know something like an apex legends or something like that i feel like that'd be something unique to th this genre um where it's like more of a realism slash arcade shooter type game and so uh this whole video was just to just to put i guess put world war three on a pedestal of how i think this game can actually be something pretty decent something that can be pretty big but it's up to us to put our effort put our money put our time into a game like this to help uh i guess um show the triple a you know big developing companies that uh this is what we want this is what we need and maybe they could buy you know buy up whoever i don't know who owns who runs world war three but whoever owns it maybe they could buy them up and actually make create this to be something new i mean you never know but uh yeah this is just a video of me ranting about how i thought this game was actually pretty good for the amount of money that i paid for it and what i was surprised by what i saw um, but yeah, if you guys have any other comments, uh, if you feel like you want to discuss anything, if you have any other game suggestions that you think I should play and I could react to or send a review or just talk about, um, just let me know in the comments below, man, and I'll be sure to reply to you and check it out if you do have a game recommendation or if you're just asking a question. Um, but yeah, man, I appreciate you guys watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay of the game. Um, like I said, from a time being, it was running like at max FPS, so it looked kind of crappy. Then it went to actually looking pretty decent. But uh, without further ado, man, appreciate you guys watching the video. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, God bless, man, and I'll see you guys in the next video.